So I'm from Action State. We're based in Vancouver, Canada. I'm based here in the Bay Area. And we've been uh, building language packs, Python and Perl and Tickle, other ones for, for years, as well as an IDE uh, called Komodo. We recently moved into the PaaS space. We really like Cloud Foundry, and we've built a product based on Cloud Foundry, completely API compatible with it. Uh, my background has been dev, worked at a bunch of companies as a developer. I discovered PaaS about a year, or sorry, two and a half years ago, and I decided I want to devote my life to PaaS because I really like it. So I wasn't indoctrinated after I joined the company. I got it before I did. Um, so I want to just jump right in. So uh, I was at PyCon 2013 where, when Solomon Hikes unveiled Docker, and that was a, a very pivotal moment in my life, no pun intended, um, when I just it really rocked my socks, and I, I just realized uh, the power of this thing, and our company did as well. I should mention that Cicado is probably, I, I believe, the first commercial product that has incorporated Docker, and we use it all over the place. Um, very handy, as, as you know, it's exploded. Um, however, I want to make the point here, Docker is about containers and very powerful concept. It's, it's crucial for PaaS and for a lot of other things. Um, but really, it's just a container. There's so much more to the ecosystem and the, the whole infrastructure than just containers. Um, you need to be able to move these things around. You need to be able to load them. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll have this analogy with shipping containers for a couple of slides and then I'll dive into PaaS. Um, but yeah, you need to move them around, you need to load them, transport them, uh, transport them, or, you know, lift them up and drop them on ships, uh, transport them across different infrastructures, I guess. Um, so the point is that there's, there's, um, the containers are powerful, but you need so much more than containers. And I'm gonna dive into what exactly I mean by that. Um, so for developers in enterprise today, they are hobbled currently by process and by their current tools, and um, they need to be able to innovate, and that's what we're trying to provide. So what I want to look at here is uh, how to get out of the weeds. Developers are stuck in the weeds doing things they shouldn't do, and Docker helps to some extent, but it misses a lot of things. So an enterprise app has to deal with logging. An enterprise app has to also scale properly, elastically auto-scaling on demand. Um, rollback and versioning, things have to be dealt with. I, I stole this slide deck from my CEO. Um, on demand self-service, uh, one of the promises of the cloud, many important cl uh, co promises from the cloud, is self-service, uh, ability to access things and, and provision them on demand without human intervention. And uh, monitoring, very important, has to be integrated with every application, should be automated, should be no humans involved. And then I'll dive into way more. There's so much more here. Um, integration with the infrastructure, uh, high availability and failure management, um, single sign-on security, authentication, monitoring I mentioned, uh, multi-tenancy, whoops, wrong button, uh, just goes on, routing and load balancing. You get the idea. There's a ton of stuff here that the enterprise developer has to accommodate for. And sure, you can use Docker, but you have to spend a lot of time rolling all of this stuff yourself. So, so um, most enterprises today, they want to build software. A bank wants to build software. Most banks I know, they dabble with PaaS. They think, oh, we could build a PaaS. We've been doing this kind of stuff for a long time. But really, um, it's not an easy job, and Cloud Foundry has done a wonderful job of building a very powerful PaaS that does all this stuff for you. So sure, you can, use, uh, you can build a PaaS, but why? Why do that? Why not use an existing um, PaaS? And then you can spend the time working on your own software. You can get out of the weeds. Okay, Dave, how's the time? And, great, okay. So uh, having said all that as a background, so I'm a very strong proponent of, of Docker. One minute, okay, I'll make this fast. Uh, and Active State very much so, as I say, we incorporated all over um, Staccato. Staccato itself is a Cloud Foundry-based PaaS, and we, we kind of pitch it as being the easiest way to get started with Cloud Foundry. Cloud Foundry, very powerful, but if you try to install it on your own system, you'll need to spend a few hours or days getting it fully operational. With Staccato, it's uh, different than that. Let's come back to that slide. There's three steps to get it going. You download it, you boot it, you got it, that's it. Actually, it's kind of two steps. Um, and uh, so we provide it as a VM appliance. You download the image, you boot it up in VMware or VirtualBox, and you've got it running on your laptop. I've got it running here. Um, I downloaded it just earlier today. Oh, I guess it's not showing on the screen. 
in here in. Okay. So I've got it running. I just booted it up in, um, in Fusion, and I've got it running. It took me all of like five or so minutes to get the full PaaS running. So that's the point I want to make. Um, Docker is not enough. You need a PaaS, and uh, Staccato is the quickest way to get started on Cloud Foundry. I'll be part of the, uh, the panel later on to go into a little bit more detail. Thank you for your time. <laughs>